A handful of accidents in Boone County prompts officials to warn drivers. I told you about that yesterday. There was one more today that makes nine crashes in less than a week. Several people have had to go to the hospital. Amory Wilder got answers from the North Boone Fire District on why these accidents keep happening. Amory, what did you find out? Well, Eric, one emergency responder I spoke to says a car is a lethal weapon, so one false move can mean life or death, which is why it's crucial to be aware of what you're doing while operating one. Our biggest goal is good patient care, get them out of the vehicle, get them in the ambulance. North Boone Fire District Number 3 Chief Dan Zackard describes protocol while responding to crashes. It's something they've done multiple times in the past week. The department responded to nine accidents in just a five-day span. The most recent, an accident involving two cars at Beloit and Spring Creek Road on Tuesday. And over the weekend, a driver ended up in a cornfield at Spring Creek in Town Hall. The one car crashes, we're always worried about, was it distracted driving? Was there the driver impaired? Was it alcohol, drugs? Um, the two car, three car crashes, a lot of times it's unfamiliarity with the area, thinking other people have to stop. Chief Zachard says distracted driving is the problem, whether it be loud music, eating, or texting. Everybody thinks they can do it and get away with it until they hit someone, and then it's too late. He urges drivers to pull over if they can't give all of their attention to the road. So a couple of our, our really bad crashes in the last two years have been people falling asleep. And so if you're fatigued, Fatigue driving is just as bad as distracted and impaired. You know, pull over and sleep because it could kill you, and it has out here. Zachard adds that high corn can be an issue for drivers as well as the sun because it's a little bit lower in the sky right now. Eric?